Hey everyone, this is Camilla with Magnolia Transfers. I'm going to show you how to use our game sheet creator that is now available on our website at magnoliatransfers.com. To get started, we're going to first prep our files. It's very important that you do this and make a habit of it when you download files from say Etsy or another designer because sometimes there is dead space around that graphic file and when you go to resize the image it's not going to give you a true um, size so like if I'm wanting an 11 inch size if there is two inches of dead space I'm also resizing to that with that dead space so I'm actually only going to get maybe 10 inches um, of my graphic being resized which I will explain that when we open these files up um, to get started, you're going to have to do it on a desktop It's the best way. I know that a lot of people like to use their iPads or their phone, but use a desktop or a laptop computer. It would make it so much better and so faster for you. Um, to get started, you're going to just open up your file folder where all your graphics are. As you can see on this example, I do have several um, files, graphic files already um, ready to go. These are what we're going to work with today. Now all of these have already been um, resized and removed. Um, I removed that dead space. This one is the, uh, I'm sorry, let's say this one is the one that we're going to work with. So all you're going to do um, to remove this dead space is you're going to double click your file. And it's going to open up and it's going to show you uh, what that image is. Now up here at the top is a crop button. It's a square. It's got like a line through it that is um, to crop your image. Go ahead and click that. It opens up a new window. Now you can see this box that is around the image is actually that box is surrounding the edges of this image. Even though you would think that, okay, well, my image is only this color part. It's not because this has got a lot of dead space. Now when I was talking about resizing an image, if I'm going to go in here and um, when we go into that program, the, the creator, if I'm going to make this image into say a 12 inch, I'm actually only, I'm resizing this box to 12 inches. I'm not resizing this um, because this is actually the image. So when I would, if I put in that I wanted it to be 12 inches, well, this is what the whole image, you know, with this space right here is included. So I would probably get about a 10 and a half of the actual image that I would want to be resized. To solve that problem, we're going to crop it and we're going to remove all this dead space because right here, there's nothing here. That's just just empty pixels but it's still picking them up so in order to remove that dead space I'm gonna put my mouse over the bounding box I'm gonna left click and I'm gonna drag I'm gonna drag the edges of that box as close as I possibly can get to the image without being on the, the on the image as you can see right now I am on that graphic and you don't want to be you want to be right off the edge of it like that once you get to where you are comfortable I'm um, having that line with I mean sometimes you might want to be down here if you're not really for sure but right there is good enough for me I let go of the mouse and it crops it to there you're gonna do all four sides all you're doing is putting your mouse over the line left click and hold and drag and once you get it in position you let go now you want to save that once this is all cropped I've got the majority of the dead space on the edges gone you can either save a copy or sometimes if you have the option you can press this arrow and it pops up save that's my favorite method because I would rather have just a cleaned up file to work with for future you know projects or anything so just go ahead and save that and it saves it as a cropped image. Now you can't really tell a difference because I mean it you know you've got the transparent background but this now is 
prepped and ready to be used when we create the gang sheets or even if we're creating like a custom print or anything like that. So I'll just go ahead and exit out of that. I'm going to minimize this. Now, we go to magnoliatransfers.com and you go to the website. You This will, depending on when you're going on the website, this might be changed, but this part stays the same. You're going to click on Gang Sheets Rolls. Click that button and you're going to go to this listing. You're going to scroll down to the pink button that says create your gang sheet here and you're going to click and it's going to open up our designer. Now once you're on our designer page you're going to it's going to say choose parameters of your product number of sheets. This is how many gang sheets that you're going to create. I just highly suggest just doing one at a time just leave it as one and click set. This opens up the designer. Now this um, checked um, box right here, that is actually your gang sheet. That is your digital gang sheet and that's the area that we're going to be working with. It is already set for 22 inches wide and 36 inches long. That is the, um, the size that we're working with. Um, I think it will be easier for everyone just to keep it as like a smaller amount the three foot long um, sheets we can always do multiple of them um, if you need a lot of images the price will still remain the same as if you was trying to put together a um, 120 inch length sheet that this is this is the area that we're going to work in okay so to get started we're going to go over here and click add image and you can either drag or upload a photo. You can click here and it will bring up um, the box where you can search through your files, find the image and select it and upload it. But for this, I'm just gonna go ahead and since I've got my, my, um, my window open with my files, I'm just gonna drag them. So I'll just highlight all of those and I'm just gonna drag them over here and drop them. And what it's going to do is going to upload all of these files, um, the graphic files, to the designer program. Okay, so now since they've all uploaded, what we're going to do is we're just going to choose which image that we're going to start with first. We're just going to go ahead. We'll start with the America one. So I'll just choose select. And it puts it on our gang sheet. Now I can move it around. Remember this, this checked box area is our gang sheet. That's our area that we're working with. So we're going to put it, I'm just going to put it right up here. Like I said, it's up to you. And as you can see, that dead area is gone. So we're going to get a good, um, when we resize it, we're going to get like a good measurement um, and pretty accurate. Now to resize, we can always um, put our mouse over one of these um, little like circle buttons and left click and hold and drag. But if you're like me, I, I like to have things accurate. So over here, you can see dimensions and you can cl uh, click change and you can actually you know do some precision resizing um, for this like I can choose I want 12 inches wide and I would just put it there and it keeps it um, you know all balanced so it's not going to be warped or anything and I just click change now over here as you can see there is a little a, like an alert button um, or a little icon right here that has popped up and it's like orangish yellow. Those are okay. You don't want a red one, but I'll show you what this one is all about. You just click it and it's 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 a, a low resolution um, warning. It says the current DPI is 273 and where our recommended is 300 and our minimum is 250. It 
as long as you're above this 250, your image is going to print okay. Um, we, we love 300 or more, but as long as it's above this, your image is not going to be blurry or anything like that. So we're at 273. We're fine. Just exit out. Now, if I resize it, you see, as soon as I started stretching it out, we got a red alert. I can click that and it says, see, my DPI is now 238. Recommended is 300. That is going to be blurry. That's not going to be a good quality image. I definitely would, would resize it down because you don't want to provide your customers or even, you know, if you're printing for yourself, like a blurry image, you want the best image that you possibly can have um, when you apply it for, you know, t-shirts or totes or whatever you're applying it to. So we're going to go ahead and pull it back down and I'll just go back over here and set it, you know, for 12 inches and click change. I just click off of it, click over here in this white space and, you know, once I've got it to where I want it, you know, I can still reposition it anytime, but I'll just click off because I'm done with that one. Now I want to add another graphic. Well, we've already uploaded our images and let's see, they should be right here. Add, add image and I'll just go in back in and select my next image. I can move it around, I can position it, I can go over here, I can change, you know, um, my settings, I can say I want 11, click change, and then I can just find the positioning and put it wherever I want. When I add another image, I just go back over here to add image, find it. If it's not here, you know, I can always upload my files, but choose select. It'll load it onto the page. I can reposition. I can change, you know, the size that I want. I'm always looking for red, the a red alert. Um, like I said, these right here are fine. It's still going to print okay. And I just keep doing this back and forth until I get all my images on this sheet. And you know, if you want a pocket size, four inches, perfect. You'll want to, I mean, you don't have to, but you would want to fill up this page. You're buying this page, um, this 22 by 36, so you might as well use all the space um, available So we're just going to go ahead and just fill all this up. All right. So now the page is filled up. Of course, we could fill it up more. We could put more pocket right here and, you know, but this is good enough. You want to make sure that your images are they do not go past this little dashed line because if it does, then it's going to be cut off. So you want to keep it inside that border. Once you've got your, um, your file, your gang sheet set up the way that you want it to be set up and it looks right and everything, the dimensions are right and everything, you're going to go up here and click confirm. And you can see it, put it right here. Now, if you wanted to add another sheet, you could click here and go through the same process. You're going to, once you're done, you're going to confirm my designs. Here, you're going to put your name. You're going to put first and last name, your email address. Highly recommend putting like a cell phone number just in case I can't get a hold of you. If there's an issue, there shouldn't be an issue, but I mean, it's optional. And you don't have to put anything. If you need to leave me a note or anything, you can put it right here. But definitely, you have to have your first and last name. And please put the name that's going to show up when you order. And also the email that will be associated with your order. Now, once you're done, you've completed all this. And I'll just go ahead and put in mine. Ah, I can't even spell here.
then confirm my designs and then it's going to tell you we have received your project the next steps are as following you know you're going to be redirect, redirected back to the shop um, or you can just press this button here you're going to put in your cart the number of sheets that you created which right here you've got one and then you're going to complete your purchase so we're just going to go ahead and redirect now we're back to the page you're going to make sure that you know the amount of sheets we've done one I would put that in my cart I would check out and I'm done we've already got your file when your order um, is completed we'll get an alert we will be able to download your file and print it it won't take nearly you know as long as it's been um, and because everything is formatted correctly there is no background there um, is sized correctly the resolution's good so we can get it out faster I hope that this recording helped everyone um, if you have any questions just let me know and have a great day